There's something I find very interesting. By the way, this is Chris Kumekucha. There's something I find very interesting. That thing which I find interesting is how Kenyans are not able to see that Ruto and Gideon Moy cannot both be jubi- in, within Jubilee at the same time. One has to leave. You know, I gave a very good illustration of this in an earlier uh, video, or rather audio with the pictures, where I said that um, the situation is like you already have a wife in your house, and then you go and you marry a second wife, and then you bring her in the same house. And the second wife you choose is the woman who your wife hates the most. They probably have an history right from college days or something. And that is the woman now you choose, you bring into the house, you start giving her promises of certain positions, certain things, and your first wife is still there. That's the situation within Jubilee right now. In fact, if you can excuse me, I'll use an expression my, uh, my wife likes using or uses when she's really angry. Ntamkula na meno. That, that is what the situation is. And uh, clearly, even our local press have not caught on to this. They don't see it a big deal that kind of made a deal with um, Jubilee. And Gideon Moy and his uh, people have been promised positions in the next uh, Jubilee government if they win. They don't see a big deal there. Actually, there's a very big deal. And I can tell you categorically, I don't see how both Gideon Moy and William Ruto can be within Jubilee at the same time. One of them has to give way. One of them has to give way. Anyway, currently the situation is that um, is, 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 it is as it is. Uh, the DP is staying put. And of course he's protected constitutionally. Nobody can remove him as deputy president. He can remain as deputy president up to the election. Up to after the elections. Yeah, when uh, the current government has to hand over to whichever new government will come in or to hand over to itself if they win re-election. Okay, so uh, this is an interesting situation because um, I've already, uh, a short while ago I spoke uh, to 595 members and we were discussing Ruto options. What, is, what he has actually to do. We all know that he folded up URP so he doesn't have a party. But uh, not having a political party is not a big issue here. Because just the way he picked up URP, he can pick up any party. And it's very interesting that uh, those, a lot of his close allies are operating under a certain party. For example, I can give you the one in the coast. Uh, there's a party called Kadwasili, whom his close associates are operating under. Uh, so the issue of uh, Ruto not having a party is not uh, an issue. The big question is, what exactly will he do? Now, the most obvious option that is going to take is an option which, uh, if you become a member of Club 595, you will uh, hear about, and it is a crazy, crazy option. But it is probably the only option, the best option, actually, not the only one. Because the alternative is for him to play spoiler, and I don't see Ruto playing spoiler. or to try and position himself so that in the elections he comes in number two and then prepares for a kind of uh, a runoff. That would be the harder, harder, much harder thing to do. The easier thing is to forge an alliance with the other party. Okay? The easier thing, I've let the bug out of the bag. <laughs> but I think it's pretty obvious. And um, this does not mean that uh, Jubilee is finished or God will win. No, no, no. Let's understand this. You know, in politics, politics is a very uh, complex thing. And sometimes people play different cards. Your opponent does this, you do this. Your opponent does this. The votes cast are what's going to decide at the end. So you cannot write off anybody. That's the worst mistake you can make in, ele- in, in any elections or even in analyzing them. But I foresee a situation whereby... Uh, Jubilee will definitely have Gideon support. Okay? And uh, even if NASA gets Ruto support, that will not mean that uh, Jubilee will lose. It will mean that the race is going to be very close. But even more troubling for me is I've never seen and I cannot envisage a split Kalenjin vote. 
most of the challenges will have to fall on one side. Now I'm reminded of the 2007 elections, the, the controversial 2007 elections that ended in uh, bloodshed, whereby initially it looked like the Kalenjin vote was with Kibaki. In fact, as we went on, Moi was supporting Kibaki and it looked like uh, the Kalenjin vote would be won for Kibaki by Moi. Well, it didn't happen. And especially so because by then uh, Ruto was a rookie, nobody knew about him, he was just getting into politics, uh, or rather into the politics of being king of the Kalenjins. So nobody saw Ruto actually garnering all those, all the Kalenjin vote for ODM. Okay? So it's a tricky situation. It's a very tricky situation, very difficult to predict. I think the best thing is for us to sit and watch. But even more interesting is, is a prominent role played by Moi in these elections. Who would have guessed Moi would be a prominent player in these elections? Well, he is, because he has been pulling very powerful strings uh, behind the scenes, which I discuss in great detail in um, Club 595. It will be very interesting for you to read, including issues like the Mutula assassination, where there's a big maneno between uh, Moi and uh, Ruto's advice. Very sensitive stuff, which I can't even dare talk about here. But it's all in Club 595. Um, I think that's all I have for now. Um, I'll keep you posted of the situation, but I advise you to take advantage of uh, my very nice offer for you to be a temporary member of uh, Club 595. You only need to pay 199. Shilingi miya moja tisi only. 199 only. And you will be able to be a member for 10 days. You'll have full access to all Club 595 facilities, past books, present, future books, and so on. It's a very good deal. All you need to do is use the number you can see on your screen now, M-Pesa 199 shillings. Or if you're out of the country, send uh, $1.99 to our email address, which is on the blog. You missed this at gmail.com. Just go to Kumekucha blog, you will see, contact the editor, that email address, they use it for PayPal, send $1.99, and please remember to send me your email address, and then I'll, I'll, I'll just give you full access to the club, for 10 days, you'll be able to get all this hot information, including what I've recently been covering. Okay, thanks folks, till next time, this is Chris Kumekucha, thank you for listening to me, bye.